What always drives gold is is a is falling nominal and real interest rates. That's what the gold is most concerned of. And you see that the rates are falling. Rates have crashed. The long-term rates have crashed. So gold will actually absolutely loves that. Um, I think the next leg is a recession that'll take rate rates a little bit lower on the long end, a lot lower on the short end. Um, because I think the Fed funds rate could go to 2%. Right now, the two-year note is over 4 So that's wonderful. But you hit the nail on the head when you, you asked me the question. You said, is the, is the United States an insolvent country? Insolvent nations tend to have a very bad relationship with a currency and a very bad relationship uh, with gold. Gold is the true revealer of how well a nation is doing with its uh, stability. And we're doing a very poor job of it. So I expect gold. Listen, if you ask me if, if Bitcoin, which is a 64 uh, bit it, it, private key, which has letters and numbers in it that exists, is ex exists virtually. Uh, <laughs> um, if that could be $60,000 a unit, then gold could be uh, 5,000 or $6,000 an ounce. I think the U.S. dollar, um, and I'm not just talking about so much against other flawed fiat currencies because that's not how you measure a currency. You measure a currency against gold. Uh, look, you want to look at a chart. Put up the Japanese yen against gold up up until a few weeks ago. Uh, I think I think the dollar crashes against the price of gold. Crashes. It's been doing so, and I think it, that that could accelerate after the recession. And if I'm correct and the Fed and Treasury blink and say that the money markets are frozen, you can't float commercial paper, um, it, it, there's no transactions in the repo market, um, they're dysfunctional if, the, if, if there's any at all, and we have to launch some kind of ZERP, QE, and helicopter money regime once again, I think the dollar crashes, especially against hard assets. Uh, Kai, it's, hap it's happening. It's not, it's not, that's not a prediction. It's happening. I mean, it, people, other nations have made the calculation that I cannot park my reserves, my currency reserves in U.S. dollars because they can be confiscated. They're subject to, um, you, know, you know, like I said, confiscation. Uh, so in that scenario, what I would rather do is take my excess, my trade surplus, instead of buying dollars and buying treasuries which can be su subject to tariffs and um i'll just buy gold with it and hold the gold myself and then i'm then i'm i i obviate the ability of the u.s to sanction me that's no. what's happening there's no i mean that's not a theory of mine it was what theory of mine years ago and now it's a fact it's just happening Guy, if you're getting your news from the mainstream financial media, you, 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 listen, I'll give you one example. I'll leave you with this because I know we got to wrap up here. So the mainstream financial media went bonkers, absolute bonkers on the retail sales report that was released last week. Oh, the, it blew up. It, I think it was up 1%. Um, much better than expectations. The consumer is so resilient. And I said, wait a second. Let me look, let me look at the data here. So retail sales – Increased by 2.7% year over year. That, that's a nominal figure. CPI increased by 2.9% year over year. So in real terms, the consumption on the part of the consumer is negative. It's, it wasn't, wasn't that it was great. It wasn't that it was booming. It's down in real terms. So, you know, but no one, no one has mentioned that. I'm, I'm writing about it this week. Uh, I'll put a, I'll put something out this week about it, but it, you you got to get your news from sources that are independent. Listen, I just want to make me and my clients money, and whatever bullish, bearish, stagflation, deflation, I don't care. Wherever it leads me, I will go. Uh, wherever that model leads me, it was built to detect the second derivative of inflation in the context of the health of the economy. That's how I think about investing. That's very crucial because you could. You could say the economy is horrible, but we're in hyperinflation. And if you short the market, you're going to be crushed because markets go up in hyperinflation. So I, you need to know where we are in, in terms of inflation and especially uh, in the context of inflation and the context of growth. 
and then in those five sectors between, so it's deflation, disinflation, stasis, reflation, and stagflation, or hyperinflation. And then you'll know every single investment bucket has its own investment style. Sometimes it's wonderful for gold, and sometimes it's horrible. Gold hates reflation because rates are rising, and the economy's doing well um, in sector four. Uh, you can get killed, but in sectors in sector two and in one, you can make a lot of money in gold because gold loves, like I said, falling nominal and real interest rates. So, and maybe even sector five, gold should do fantastic. And say, I, I think because real rates, even though even though rates will be rising, nominal rates will be rising. In real terms, they should be lagging inflation. So, and if that's the case, that's the actual best environment for gold. 